thoughts on teacher Ruth. I'm so excited to be able to meet you through this video. Let's do our word decoration together. Get on your feet and follow my motion. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above all me and not beneath. I'm blessed coming in and blessed going out. And everything I set my heart to do will prosper. You are amazing. Now we are going to play a game. I'm going to show you a tree and I need your help to help me find the right fruit that belongs to the tree. Are you ready? Here is our first tree. It is red in color. Which fruit belongs to that tree? Is it apple, durian, or banana? That's right, it's apple. Who likes to eat apple? Give me a wave. Here is our second tree. Look at it. Which fruit belongs to that tree? Is it orange, cherry, or pear? That's right, it's cherry. You are amazing. Now, this is my favorite. Here is a duck picture. Which fruit belongs to that tree? Is it durian, pear, or mango? Mango! It's my favorite fruit because it is so sweet. God makes lots of trees. God makes all the trees. In the Bible, God said to Adam and Eve to eat from all the trees. But not this tree. No, no, no. But Adam and Eve did not listen to God. Oh dear. They disobeyed God and ate the fruit. They wanted to be like God. They wanted to be so big. And they wanted to be so strong. But only God is so big. And only God is so strong. Children, who is so big? That's right, God is so big. Children, who is so strong? That's right, only God is so strong. Our memory verse from Genesis 1, 1 says, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Our God is so big. Our God is so strong. Now we are going to pray. Put your hand together and close your eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you for being so big and so strong. I'm sorry to disobey you. There's no one like you. I love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 